What's happening, party people? Action figure junkie, back with you with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories and a little bit of Hasbro thrown in for good measure. You know how I do it. So who is this, you're asking yourself? Well, this is my updated current modern version of the Striker driver crankcase. Uh, I based it on the original 1985 version of Crankcase, who came with the uh, awesome Awestriker, which was a very cool um, buggy-type vehicle. I actually got this vehicle behind him. I know you're probably wondering, why is there a vehicle behind that figure? This isn't his usual setup. Well, I did this once before with uh, Clutch, because certain figures, you know, y you know them by their vehicles. Crankcase was the Awestriker driver. So, I put him with an Striker. This is a, a, a vehicle I got through, I believe it was Elite Force. No, is this, this is actually, sorry, this is a World Peacekeepers. Uh, this is a World Peacekeepers vehicle. Now, a lot of their uh, gear, their vehicles, their setups are great for 118th scale toys. Uh, their figures, not so much. They leave a little something to be desired. But their gear, man, is just excellent. So, I got this buggy. Um, my custom Joes fit in it really pretty well. It holds three people, one in the front, uh, two in the front, one holding the gun, and then one on the back, which is very similar to the Striker, the way that was designed. So I figured, well, why not design the driver? And there you go, you got Crankcase. So I went with the um, green shirt with the sleeves rolled up like uh, he originally had in 85, brown pants, and... Um, well, tan pants, I guess, and then the brown uh, straps. I think if you look at a picture of Crankcase, this is a really a pretty, um, very much looks like him. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Um, did some black pockets for you know just pop color. I decided not to go with any pockets or any gear on the back on his back. You see his uh, he's got empty holes there in the back because it would just make him hard to fit in the vehicle. And this guy is definitely you know one with the vehicle so there you go there's crankcase i took a uh, 25th anniversary duke head and uh, i'm not the best uh painter but uh, i did my best and i think you know it came out pretty good uh once i was done with him i actually gave him some fu manchu what do you call it handlebar mustache just for shits and giggles and then after he was done i looked at him and i'm like damn he kind of looks like abraham from the walking dead and I was like, well, hell yeah, I can live with that. I still miss you, Cutlets. I'm going to pour one out for Abraham tonight when I have a few beers. He was awesome. So this is, I guess, maybe my subliminal um, honoring of one of the coolest figures on Walking Dead. So this is my crankcase here. Now, he fits inside that striker really well. I'm not going to take the time on the video to show you because uh, he doesn't just slip and slide in. He goes in. He goes in good, but... It does take a little bit of work, I'm not going to lie. But the vehicle is great. It looks really good. It fits um, all my custom Joes really well. I put a few pictures up on Instagram. If you don't believe me, just take a look. I got some great shots of uh, him with Scarlet and Beachhead. I decided to do a uh, all Gingers photo shoot. Hopefully they brought their SPF 50. So if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. Um... You can find my Instagram page, Action Figure Junkie. Hit me up on uh, here. Leave me any questions or comments you might have. Please feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to make as many videos as I can in my busy life. I do appreciate everyone who uh, sends me the love. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And as always, in parting. Wait, let's make sure it's on this time. Right? I don't want to do another fail. All right, here we go. Yeah.